Hello guys, thank you for joining me on my latest adventure. So continuing with my travels through Greece, I'm now for the very first time in Kefalonia. How pretty is this? This is a family run business and these particular rooms have just been completely renovated last year and they're gorgeous. This is like a full on swimming pool, so deep and nice. And then you've got the decking area, sun lounges. We've just arrived in the afternoon. I say we, I have a friend with me. One of my friends was also traveling through Greece. So um, I have a friend with me, Rosella. You'll see her a little bit later on, but we've just arrived in the afternoon and the sun is gonna make its way in front of us. So this is gonna be the most insane sunset suite. And Rosella bought with her wine. So we're gonna sit in quite possibly the perfect place and have a glass of wine and watch the sunset. Let me just move and show you the sun's right there. So we should get the most amazing view from those two. just finished our breakfast and I think the next stop will be the hotel's private beach. Look at this beach. Isn't it just the dream? The water, I mean, you can see that on the camera. I don't need to do too much talking about how gorgeous that blue is, but this right here is the hotel's private beach. It's just the most beautiful trickle of sunbeds and umbrellas. It's just so gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, we're going to go head down to the beach, have a little swim probably. We're going out on a boat this afternoon, which should be Pick because the coastline looks amazing but just wanted to show you the beach from above before we go down how cute is this little setup look at that isn't that sweet you can just sit there and have a drink Sunglasses on, mask off. We're about to go on a boat trip. I'm so excited. This is the boat behind us. Oh, very, very excited. We're gonna see more of the coastline and it's such a gorgeous day for it. It's amazing. So, just for reference, Zakynthos is the only place I've been to that has similar beaches to this. So like turquoise water, but like a milky turquoise. And it's about 15 minutes by boat on a fast boat. Um, so it reminds me so much of there, but this is so pretty. So this is the reason the hotel is called White Rocks, by the way. These are the official White Rocks. And it's a windy day, so if you can imagine how clear this water will be on a non-windy day. Oh, that's also a little bit cold.
your choice. We just went and had another amazing dinner at the restaurant and this is tonight's sunset view with a beautiful beam of light. It's amazing. There's the restaurant up there. So we had quite the view. Lovely busy day out on the water. We're going to get an early night I think so we can get up early and do a bar class at one of these gazebos maybe. Because why not? Everything in this hotel looks so pretty at sunset. Including the cellar. <laughs> pretty in pink to match. Morning guys. So um, in a car today, we, with the help of our lovely hotel, have rented a car because we are going to Melisani Lake. Um, so Kefalonia is actually quite a big island and it is ideal if you can rent a car if you're here for longer than a few days we've only got three days so we had to prioritize it was a 45 minute drive to get here so we've rented the car just for the day we're going to see how we feel after we might go to another beach we might go back to the hotel we're going to see how we feel but we both kind of prioritized melisani lake because it's this stunning natural lake that's kind of underneath a cave but the top part of the cave has now through weather um, and interruptions the top part of the cave has disappeared so basically you go into this beautiful crystal clear lake and you have the sun peering through the top so I think it's going to be beautiful and it's so unique obviously um, I've been in Greece for a while now and I intend to stay here a little bit longer there will be so many beautiful beaches and I know Kefalonia has them because we've seen a glimpse of them at the hotel and on the boat trip. But yeah, we thought this would be a bit more unique. Um, anyways, we are now here. We just drove 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, I will try and film some of the drive on the way back. We only did like a 10 minute clip on the way here because we were concentrating, of course, new roads. But it was insane. It looked like we were driving through Costa Rica and then we ended up in Austria and then we were in Florence. Like this island has so much to offer in terms of the differentiation between the landscape it's nuts anyways i'm saying all of this like we've got our ish together but we've both just realized that neither of us have our purse with us <laughs> we both literally packed for the trip we're like i've got this got this got this got this got this neither of us thought money so we are hoping and praying we can somehow Apple Pay our way through the day. If not, we're going to have to drive 45 minutes back to the hotel and 45 minutes back here. So yeah, wish us luck that they will let us Apple Pay somehow. And there's a tiny little shop here. So we're thinking if they've got contactless, maybe we can either buy the ticket through them or like buy something and they give us the cash. I don't know. We're going to see how we get on and I will, of course, let you guys know also. <laughs> Your hopes are not high. <laughs> okay, no problem. They take contactless and I have my phone with me, which has an Apple Pay. We're all good. So just so you know, guys, you're all good if you want to pay with your phone or the card. So we're going to get ready and go into the cave. Wow, you can see the water already. Oh my gosh, was that it's so cool. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. I just had my feet in the water and an eel came up to the boat. He's like, he's coming for you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the eel actually is. That's so funny. <laughs> what did you he was just taking pictures. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I had my foot in? Thank you. 
After four, four o'clock is no light inside here. Okay. It's only the daylight, not yes. from the sun. This is actually more beautiful, in my opinion, from the inside. Because you have this insane pink hue above all of the stalactites, and then you've got the crystal clear water, which is just as clear inside the cave, by the way. I've never seen it from this way, like on TripAdvisor. It looks beautiful. Yeah, this to me is like the true beauty of the cave. And then obviously we're just gonna go back into the trickle. And it's so quiet, we've got the whole inside to ourselves right now. We just had the most incredible experience, a private boat in Melisani Cave. And then we figured we'd just go to a beach near here because we're quite far from the hotel. Um, I think we found the most beautiful beach. Don't get me wrong, it was a little rocky and up and down on the hill, so you have to be quite a confident driver. It's quite cliff edge style, but it looks incredible. Eek. I had no idea Catalonia had so much diverse landscape, by the way. No idea. And the beaches are just stunning here. being um, a beach club there's a string of them so you've got water sports and everything on the beach the water is beautiful and clear it's a stony beach but yeah they've got basically this huge big beach club here so you can sit down order drinks order food it's called Akron and the beach is called Anti Samos so we're just gonna sit have some drinks have some lunch have a swim and then head back to the hotel We just got back from our lovely little adventure. Um, it was really fun to see the rest of Catalonia because had we have stayed here, I wouldn't have realized how diverse the landscape is. I mean, we get it. The ocean and the beaches are beautiful, but also the interiors of the island were incredible. Um, so we just came back, had a little swim, swim in our pool, and we are now going to get some massages. The hotel have decided they want to do, uh, well, to create a COVID-friendly way of having a spa treatment. Um, this hotel, by the way, in terms of COVID-friendly measures, I've never known anything like it. They are so on top of everything. It's so safe. Um, and yeah, one of the things is they don't want to open the spa. Um, so what they're going to do instead is they're going to get fully vaccinated massage therapists to come into the room um, and provide a massage with a view like so which I personally think is even nicer because it's just a little bit more intimate and you know you don't have to leave your room after you've been all nice and relaxed. How was it? So good. And then I got up after the most amazing massage and the moon is so bright. That cupping thing was insane, right? Yeah. Like That's... I really felt as though it was doing something. Oh wow. I know, imagine. Morning. So it is um it's actually travel day for us and check out the storm cloud behind me. 
Oh, it's always kind of nice and sweet, isn't it? When you're leaving somewhere and it's storming. We just had a crack of thunder as well. Um, so that's it for my Kefalonia vlog. This morning we woke up, we had breakfast, we went and got a rapid COVID test in the main town. And then we actually just did a workout on the um, veranda of our room. But yeah, we're off to the airport now, ready to move to the next island. So thank you so much for watching. All of the details of everything I've done will be in the description box down below. I'll see you next week.